Hello, I'm Marcus Boston. So the question today is, can a brain injury occur during a shoulder dystocia condition? Want to know the answer to the question? Stay with me as I share with you this really important information. All right, so I mentioned this term, shoulder dystocia. Now, if you are Googling the term, you have all you probably already know what it means, but if you don't, I'm going to help you out. So shoulder dystocia is really, it is an emergency in the delivery room. And what it means is that the baby has gotten stuck or trapped essentially behind the mother's pelvis. And that is what this condition is. It's when the baby can get stuck during a vaginal delivery. And a lot of times individuals that are dealing with this, when I'm talking about parents and stuff like that, what they can see is that the baby will suffer a brachial plexus injury. And by that, I mean an, an injury to the nerves in the brachial plexus region. And those injury, the injury to those nerves can lead to problems for the baby down the road in regards to using their hand or, or using their arm or being able to move it around. So when, when that type of injury occurs, that's what you can see when we have a brachial plexus injury. But sometimes also in regards to a shoulder dystocia condition, you can get a brain injury too. And what and how that can manifest itself is as the baby is coming out uh, during a vaginal delivery, if the baby gets stuck and the umbilical cord can get compressed or it can get stuck too, then you can have a cutoff of blood and oxygen getting to the baby. And when we have that cut off of blood and oxygen or a compressed umbilical cord, then you can see a brain injury. A brain injury can occur. And parents generally they will they will know this because their doctors will talk to them about a condition that's called HIE, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Uh, doctors will talk to them about that or it will be in the medical records. And that is essentially a reduced level of blood and oxygen getting to the baby, which can lead to a brain injury. And like I said, when that umbilical cord gets compressed during shoulder dystocia, that can lead to the baby uh, suffering a brain injury. So what has to happen is when doctors, when they are alerted that there is a shoulder dystocia situation, they have to work quickly and, but they have to be safe with, regarding everything, but they have to work quickly to free the baby. Because like I said, if that umbilical cord gets compressed then you can have some serious problems for the baby down the line. So why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this really important information? Because I'm helping you get insight as to these issues, as to shoulder dystocia, as to HIE, and as to a, a potential brain injury. Maybe you are here watching this video today because your baby has a brain injury and you have learned that shoulder dystocia was present and now you're wondering did the doctors move quick enough or did the doctors do the maneuvers the proper way to help free your baby or did they diagnose the shoulder dystocia uh, in enough time so you may have all of these questions and if you do and you would like to speak with me further the phone number is on the screen you can give me a call this is what we do i talk to families all the time about birth trauma or about brain injuries for babies cp diagnosis hie mas meconium aspiration syndrome and a whole host of other conditions all right that's going to be it for today's quick educational video again i'm marcus falston and i'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here at boston law group llc in the state of maryland we will see you next time take care and enjoy the rest of your day